What is up, guys? So, let us play some Masters of Orion 2. Um, make sure that the mouse is working. I might have to... Hold on. I think I might have to pull this back up here again. It's okay. Give me a second. And... Do -do. It just it goes full screen and then I have to I have to close it out because DOSBox is weird like that. Let's see. Let's see if it runs. It does. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. I can play it full screen. Okay. So I found this game, well, well, I found this game in the early, early 2000s, mid 2000s, um, let's go seven, yeah, we're going to start on the easiest setting because I need to figure out how the hell to play this game, tech level, let's do average first. Galaxy Age Average Tactical Combat Okay So this game is crazy So you could be all these different races um, I think I might be the humans The humans for the first playthrough and then I'll switch it up yeah let's be the humans although I do like I do like these guys the Darlocks oh Darlocks are cool All right. that would be Blue Banner and the name, star name, oh yeah, you get to name stuff, so when you find planets and stuff, you get to name them. I have to turn the lights on here, so you can't see shit. Okay. Um, what's a good name? The music in this game is fantastic. Everything about this game was fantastic what I remember. I do have to remember how to play it though. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's do... Let's do Mandalore. Okay. So, I noticed that the, the sound is a little off on DOSBox, but... Okay, so I remember you can change your people. So these people are workers, there's scientists, and then there's farmers. So it's very imperative that I remember that you keep your food level. Um, so... Creates a colony on another planet inside the same star system. A group of ships to transport food for colonists as needed between worlds colony ship is to colonize another ship or colonize another planet let's build a colony ship and then I don't think I can build any more buildings right here no capital housing okay <clears throat> Yeah, let's go explore that system right there. Okay. So there's my turn. Okay. So here's where it gets a little combat speed. So we want to go with 
here we go hydroponic farm we want to go with the stuff that's really going to boost our economy at the beginning we'll start working on ship stuff as it goes yeah but so you could check out the other leaders I don't, I don't know anybody yet, I guess. Yep, I haven't contacted anybody. Okay. Heavy gravity. 6 max population, 12 max population, rich. Oh, they're both rich. Well, let's colonize this world. This world will be named. Go up, go up. All right. I guess it's the Kyoko system. Okay. Um, Starbase. We can build a Starbase. Saying that'll help the hydroponic farming will help my other guys. <clears throat> It's going to be a while, though, because... Hmm, so that plant's not as good. Just kind of exploring. Send them off there. Commander Grum offers to join you for 40 BC now and 1 BC a turn. Do you accept? Uh, sure. Commander Grum will go to the officer pool. Okay. So, where's the officer pool? I think that's just for the ships. So I actually got real lucky that that was the first star system that I that I went to. An automated, sealed environment in which food can be grown even on lifeless worlds. It increases the food output of a world by plus two food. Okay. So... Oh. Well, I guess we're doing a cloning center now. <laughs> Okay. Poor, uninhabitable, giant, poor, poor. Can I actually go to the planet? No. It's probably bad to be exploring like this so early on. Stable wormhole. It gets a little crazier as you go, but it starts off kind of kind of slow, back and forth. We get a drink. Really, Joe, the, just the whole feeling of this game. It's a pretty good one. Okay. Okay, so everything else is out of range, parsec-wise. So I'll send, I'll send these guys back home then. Are they still building that ship? Fifty-three turns, okay. They are still building that ship. Ambassador Yoda offers to join you for 60 BC now and 1 BC a turn. Sure. 
sure. I probably shouldn't be having so many guys join right away, but I don't think you get that many opportunities. Okay. Allows doctors to replace failing or damaged organs, increasing the population growth by 100,000 each turn as long as the current population is below the planetary maximum. Uh, develops the talent of natural, naturally telepathic members of your race. Enables you to form a more effective police force with the ability to get to the truth in a new way. That's 5% to all spying rolls. And then microbionics. Microorganisms used to create drugs increase the population growth. Okay. Computer equipment. Let's see if I can get speed plus five. Um, keep all the faster than light travel. Okay, let's let's do the fusion drive then. See, because I'm just gonna keep making. You're tuned to GNN, your source for all news you need to know. Workers in your empire discovered a previously unknown deposit of mineral in Kyoko that improved the mineral classification of that planet to ultra rich. Nice. Hey, what's up, boat? How you doing? How are you doing? Just playing some Masters of Orion. Uh, uh, see, this guy has a bunch of stuff. It's two a turn. I kind of want to keep hiring these guys until I get the officer's pool, because I think those guys are good. Capable of faster than light travel, moving a ship three parsecs a turn. All ship drives are automatically upgraded when the technology is discovered. I'm doing okay. Just chillaxing. I had to turn the lights on, though, because it's too dark. And... Yeah, pretty much. Figured out how to play this game full screen though, so I'm glad about that. That it's working properly. Um, what's the ion drive? Let's do telepathic training. That's good. Oh, see, those guys are gaining levels too. So that's good. Sure. Prime christened a new ship, the colony ship. Cool. Okay, so now I can build something else. So let's build a hydroponic farm then, and then a cloning center. There we go. And then on Kyoko, we're going to build. Oh, we're building a star base. And after that, we'll build that. And that. And that. I like how you could stack things in this game, so it's cool, like, you can just, you know, have to keep checking them. Um, I believe... Let's colonize... Yeah, let's go there. Poor, poor, <sighs> man, that, I gotta find some better, I forgot where all the rich, the rich planets were already, ultra rich, but it's radiated though, toxic, uninhabitable, but you can learn you can learn to terraform planets in this. So that's something to keep an eye out. Okay. See they're just they're just building everything now. Abundance. 
toxic. Fuck, man. I, I swear there was another inhabitable system here. Uh, cloning system. Cloning center. Okay. Say it poor, though. Ugh. And it's tundra. Can I? S I can't. I can't send them out any further. Well, I, I gotta colonize one of these places. Radiated. We're just gonna do the ultra rich radiated planet then. <laughs> People will not like me. Cloning center. Let's do. Ooh, eight nuclear missiles. Yeah, let's build a. Def let's build a couple defense ships. Damn it. One of these was ultra rich, and now I don't remember. Medium poor train. Damn it. I don't remember. Oh man. Now I'm just wasting turns. I swear one of these was ultra rich. Okay. Same thing, let's build some ships while we're waiting. Um. You no, know, screw it. Let's see if there's another planet in that system. Sure. Rich heavy. Better be farming. Let's get let's get started on the farm in there. Oh boy. So now I gotta send Hold on. Can I send I have to wait till the ships are built. There's a way to send guys from one planet to another. Okay, let's see what happened. Scientists in the Polrathi Empire have salvaged the key to fusion beam and class 1 shield from the remains of an ancient alien ship. Those bastards. I know they're starving. Oh my god. They're going to be starving until they're not. Hold on, can I zoom in? Ah ha ha ha. There we go. Just for now until I get better warp drive. No farming. 15 turns. Okay, I only have to wait 15 turns of this. Can I press enter? I can. I know. I know. I can't do anything about it. Mag Magistrate Tannis offers to join you for 210 now and 3 a turn, bringing the knowledge of Federation. Sure. 
I s still am not 100% sure about the officer pool, but... Terraforming, yes. Teach me terraform. Develops the talents of naturally telepathic members of your race. Looks like the Babylon 5 um, Psychor symbol too. There's actually a lot of this game that reminds me of Babylon 5, which I kind of like. Um... Try to get the eye of drive. A wealthy merchant now contributed 700 BC to the Golanum Empire. That son of a bitch. A saffron. Next thing he was a corsair. Okay, so now I have ships here. Are there three ships there? Okay. And then there's going to be some ships there, too. This ship will just go by itself. Oh, uh... oh man, I can't go anywhere. Okay. I need to get better warp drive capabilities. <clears throat> I hit the lights. It's too dark, though. It's way too dark. I'm sorry. Um. um. Creating an outpost on any uninhabitable planet. Outposts function like a colony except no population units may be moved there. Okay, that's what I needed. I needed some freighters to carry, um, carry food to the other planet. So how do I get them to transport? Hold on. So now I have to figure out how to transport these guys. There's a way to do it. Oh. Farming leader. Ooh, actually, these guys aren't that good. This guy's pretty good. Okay. Oh, some of them are ship officers, okay. I gotcha. Well, that's awesome. 
Okay, so some of them are like leaders and other ones are ship officers. Magistrate Hori offers to join you. She's minus 45 environmentalist. Reduces the population level of the planet by 45%. Perfect. Capable of moving your ship four parsecs a turn. All ship drives are automatically upgraded. Let's do research laboratory. Oh, I guess that's going to be a while. I said, oh, I can still hire her. Okay. So even if I deny them right away, I still have a chance to hire them later. Okay. A new ship. Okay. Oh, that guy's just gaining levels. Okay, research laboratory. Subterranean farms. I have to change this to research lab. I will change this to oh terraforming. Oh, I need to start building more colony ships then. You continue to stand in the way of the... Uh, oh! Terrian Empire, you may not surrender. You cannot win. Your only option is death. Uh-oh. How many ships do I have here? I have one ship. Tax human at Colony Mandalor Prime. Oh damn. Um I don't know if my weapons are going to be strong enough to fight these guys. Definitely doesn't seem like it. How many turns do I have to wait? Oh! I have to click done on everybody, okay. Okay, will. screwed
Oh no, that big ship's actually pretty good. Okay. Ah, sorry. The mouse is so sensitive. I think this is slightly updated. This seems like it's updated. Um, from the last time. I think the first time I played this it seemed a little more on a grid. Damn, he blew up my big ship though. screwed. Still mobile. Well, don't board him and just attack him. Finally, that took so many of my ships. Okay. Now those guys are gonna come back piss. I'm gonna have to like research some new lasers. Nobody farming. No room for another columnist in this job field. Why? Don't they have farming? I thought I had hydroponic farms. I do have hydroponic farms. Oh, those automatically. Okay. They can't farm, farm. I see. I see what's going on. Shit, I shouldn't have skipped that. I don't know what that was. Uh yeah, this game is this game is pretty badass. Um So I first played this in the early two thousands. Um I think they updated it a little bit. It's the GOG one, so I think there's some things m the majority of the game seems normal. <clears throat> but it does seem like they did um especially with the battles. It's still the same strategy, but I think they spruced it up a little bit. All this stuff looks the same, though. Okay. We got farming. Oh, psionics. Allows you to create create psychic beings of immense power. Spying bonus is raised by 10%. Morale on all planets is increased by 10% for dictatorships and imperium government. Oh, yeah. You can choose, like, your... They're... This game goes deep, man. It's crazy. Um... I need better weapons though. So let's get the fusion fusion beam for ships. Yeah. Tachyon Communications. Yeah, who, whoever whoever made this game totally, totally watched Babylon 5. I, I have to turn the light on. It's just too... It's too much. Let's do Fighter Base. That'll be interesting. Allows a ship to carry a group of four short-range fighters. Okay. Ooh. 
I did not mean to choose heavy armor, but... Um, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Science leader, spiritual leader, yeah, you're fine. That's fine. Let's go ahead and put you here. That'll help. Again, this, this is uneasy, because I need to learn how to play this game before I can get back into it, so I have to like reaccustom myself to everything. Because on hard, dude, they, they just fuck you up. It's, 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 there's no learning. There's no, there's no anything. Yeah, I don't know a lot about the history of this game. I just ran, I remember I randomly found it. And I remember the first time I found this game, I played it for like two days straight. I think it was on a weekend. Oh man, and I remember sitting there playing it like crazy. Fuck, I keep accidentally skipping that, I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to skip that. That's not intentional. Yeah, huge Babylon 5 fan. Um, could probably go on for hours about it. I thought about making a video, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things where I know there's not a lot of fans for it, but... Uh, people who like it seem to really like it. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's. I'm gonna build some other buildings. So that's what I need to do. So, subterranean farms. Research that. Okay. And then. Good old Matrix. Oh, ten turns till the terraforming goes through. Okay, Space Academy, so that's another building. Alien Management Center provides better control of occupied alien populations. Aliens work harder, assimilate into the Empire twice as fast, and are half as likely to revolt. Um, sure. That sounds smart. Who's my favorite character? That's a tough one. That is a, that is a real tough one, because it's one of those shows where I like so many characters. I mean, obviously, Sheridan and Sinclair are great. Um... I love Garibaldi's awesome... Franklin's really good. Franklin has some... You know what? Honestly, Dr. Franklin has some of the darkest... The darkest, realist episodes. And then at other times, he just, like, disappears. He, he's one of the most, um... More complex characters in the show. Mm. Ivanova. Man, I should just watch Babylon 5 again. <laughs> Talking about it's making me want to watch it. While carrying out secret high-level experiments, your scientists stumbled upon the secret of Xeno relations. Yay. Cool. Yeah, we need to do let's let's do another antimatter drive. Oh man. Yeah, it's tough. It's there's so much stuff from that show. It's 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 more so like it's kind of like Game of Thrones in that way, where if you were to ask me what my favorite Game of Thrones character would be, I can't really say. There's a lot of characters I like for different reasons, and I kind of just like the story as a whole. Oh, Space Academy. See, now it's all terraformed. 
See, it's all green now. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I highly... Babylon 5 is one of those shows, just like Game of Thrones, where it, it rewards you. Like, when you watch season 4, there's shit from season 1 that you didn't think meant anything. But it really rewards you for paying attention. And like... Let's see... We're going to try to build some more ships here. More so I have to build some more ships. There we go. See, I don't think I can go... Yeah, I still can't travel. I still can't travel that many parsecs. Can I travel over here? Well, I've been there. Let's, let's try going there. Then let's try going... Oh, I guess not. Is it... Is it the Sephirim that I can't do it? Or is it the opposite? Maybe those ones just aren't meant to travel the same way as this one. I think I'm just going to have to build some better ships is what it is. Subterranean farms, okay. Terraforming Space Academy. Um, what's there? Yeah, there, there's, there's just not enough shows like that that get you excited, or that like you watch that pay, I guess that reward the viewers. Because there's a lot of shows where interesting stuff happens, like Next Generation. I love Next Generation, um, but all the all the high arcs in that show, I feel like are one or two episodes where. Some of that stuff, I think, could, like, the whole Picard Borg thing. I know, like, at the time, but I I would have made that a whole season. Because it would have been a whole season of Riker as the captain. And, like, what are they going to do without Picard? And, I don't know. Just feel like there's a lot of... But then again, that was kind of before, like... That was still like a TV show before they started doing like the drama stuff. But not really. I don't know. Yeah, and I love Next Generation. Like, I, I really, really do love it. But. Like, it, it could have been. It could have been like. The best fucking thing ever. Like, it could have been like. It just like tweak it just a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> And it was real. It was still like great for what it was. I'm not saying it's not great, but I, I mean it could have been like even better than that, if you can imagine. Farmers in the Dark Hole Empire rejoiced when a sudden shift of the Nazem Prime's culinary planetary axis resulted in the improvement of its environment to terrain norms. Oh, huh. I don't think any other. Oh, I'm losing money. Well, let me see if I can unhire these guys then. Can I get rid of these guys? Yeah, let me dismiss this guy. And dismiss this guy. And then I'll dismiss. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the pilots. I'm losing money. Ultra rich. 
Should I be mining more? I don't understand. 59. See, I'm still losing money. That's what I kind of mean about learning what, what the hell you're doing in this game. So that's 62, so that's even worse than before with having those guys working instead of farming. Twelve a turn? <sighs> I can't afford... Okay, maybe I was skipping those subconsciously because I knew. So I need to figure out... Now I need to figure out what's going on with my dam. Transporters, yeah. Oh, food replicators, what? We're starting to get into Star Trek. But but that's that's the difference between set like really good science fiction and then like really good like drama. It's like a different different kind of thing. Cause Star Wars is like drama. It's dramatic. Like it's you know, you're not supposed to question, like, oh, how does the hyperdrive work? You know, it's like, oh, it's another universe. Like, you kind of have to put logic out the window. Um. Oh, man. I guess I could try to do another colony ship. 50 turns, though. I just don't want to know I'm losing money so quickly. Oh, stock exchange increases revenues by 100%. Okay. So maybe that'll help me. No? It's not helping me. Oh man, I'm gonna go broke. Can I go broke? So really I should have built more colony ships? Seventy nine, seventy one. Okay. I got back to where I'm earning one now, so now I just gotta wait. Do I have enough for any research? Okay, so I'm doing some research. Let's do one and one. God damn, I need a lot of farmers, that's crazy though. Somehow it got bad, but then I got enough to get it back. To a turn. I can't afford to hire you. 
All right, no one's attacking me yet. But yeah, this is uh, this is just learning the ins and outs of the game. If I was a mat, if I was more more mathematically skilled, I'd be better at building stuff or understanding certain things. It just takes a while to learn some stuff in this game. Yeah. Shields. Spaceports. Um. Sure. But who who needs him? Is Matrix in charge of both of these planets? I guess he is. He's just running that whole sector. Just like Tannis. Or, uh. He looks like a uh, Star Lord. Just like Star Lord is, uh. Working on this one. Alright. God, the music in this game is great. Spaceports, Robo Miners, yeah, nothing bad will ever happen with robots. <laughs> oh, here we go. I must admit, now that I've met you, I like the human race even less. Stay away from the Borathi Empire. Its business is no concern of yours. That guy does not like me. Okay, he has all those planets. Okay. The Darlock and Borathi Empires are at war. Okay. The glorious Starlock Empire is here to dethrone you, Vegeta, but don't worry. Emperor Dark One will let you live on as a personal slave. Well, they're closer than I thought. Matters not. I still bear the same message from the first smirch. Beware. So these guys are just gonna talk shit to me now. Fuck. I had a crash of my economy and I'm trying to bring it all back. Greetings, Emperor Vegeta. The mighty Bolrathi Empire hereby proposes a non aggression treaty. Sure, that's that's fine with me. Minus seventy five. No, I don't want you. Hey, what's up, son? Hail, mighty emperor of the human people. We have much to offer you. Let us agree to a trade agreement. Sure. Colony ship? Okay. Alright, let's try to colonize. Let's go over here, because those guys are all over here. Let's get another planet over there. Yeah, 
Oh, screw it. No, that's, that's such a bad system, though. I don't like that system. Let's try this system. Because I can terraform now, so if it's... Poor, low, tiny baron. Again, we meet. The time has passed since we had communication. It was blissful. Too bad I had a hand. Poor, 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 abundant. You know, it's poor, but it, there's another place here that we could try to... This place is at least livable. The mineral's poor, but... What should we name this planet? Oh, uh... Or I guess it would be this sector, though, because it's like the, the sector of planets. Solo Han. Okay. <laughs> Solo Han 3 has just been called this. There you go. Um, they need hydroponic farming. They need all this shit. Actually, I need... They need all this shit, too. See, I'm negative 33 again. I hereby reopening diplomatic channels, but don't get your hopes up. We still hate the human empire. Okay. So the aliens are just going to keep bugging me now. The almighty emperor of human people. <laughs> Sometimes military hotheads misunderstand the intentions of the rulers. Why risk unwanted frights? They will understand we intend to remain friends by assigning a non-aggression pact, sure. So you guys start fighting each other again and then somebody's gonna get mad because I'm not gonna join your war. A bio-terminator, the most advanced biochemical weapon ever devised, with a 20% chance of killing one million colonists. Use of biological weapons incurs a major diplomatic penalty with all other races. Uh, I really want the Bio Terminator. Universal Antidote. Increase the population growth rate of all colonies by 50% and quarters the chance for death spores and Bio Terminators to kill a population. Non cumulative with microbiotics. I think Bio Terminators is the bad thing, though. It just sounds so cool. Alright. What about Mega Flexors? Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's increase our ships. I'm screwed again. I come before you in the spirit of friendship. I was prepared to sign a trade agreement. Yeah, I had one. And then you told me that I was stupid and you got rid of it. Okay. A thousand turns. We'll just leave this off for now until I get more colonists out there. 
49 BC. Why did it go up? Trade goods. What about this planet? Is that the same fucking planet? Seventy eight turns. I don't have seventy eight turns. I believe I'm screwed. All right, let's try this again. Okay, I'm making money again. Cool. I bring you the wisdom of the glorious and for dark form. The Darlock Empire has need for subterranean farms. Perhaps you're willing to exchange it for some of our technology. Okay. Um... get some blaster technology all right what's what's going on a diplomatic marriage between Bloreth the ambassador and a top member of your military occurred today the diplomatic relations between the empires has been greatly improved improved cool We are not enemies, we are more like family. The humans and the Borathus. Come, sign an alliance pact and stand together. <sighs> Man. Because they're going to make me try to attack the other guys. I don't have any fucking ships. They're going to be like, we started a war. Watch right now. Yeah. We call upon your brother as a declare war. Uh, fuck you, I'm not starting war. You fight, you you fight those guys if you want to fight them. Uh, my guys are trying to fucking eat. They're like dying. Right? Proton torpedoes. That sounds good. Above that, it was hyperdrive. I should have picked hyperdrive over proton proton torpedoes. A research treaty. Sure. That that see that I can do. That's not attacking people. Trying to make me wage war against the galaxy. Oh, 1,800. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, though. Was it 800 or 1,000? 1, 
Mandalore Prime bombed by the Antarians. 12 million people killed. Six, in six infantry killed. I only had six infantry. Uh, yeah, they destroyed everything. They took my home planet. Those bastards. Okay. the antidote. I'm screwed. I was absolutely screwed. That guy's scary as shit looking. Like an evil doll. The Silicoid Empire has grown its strength. It now controls nine star systems. Yeah, I control two star systems and I lost my original star system. Fear not, Emperor Vegeta. After your defeat, your people will be welcomed in the Silicoid Kingdom as the worthy slaves they are. Oh boy. Telepathic training for... Yeah. Get some soil. All your payloads swallowing with the other beans in the galaxy are meaningless. The Ontario fleet will sh Antarian fleet will destroy you all by one by one. Probably. You guys took over my other planet. I don't even get a turn. They just swoop in and fucking destroy me. I don't yeah, he's like, are you gonna make some money? Well, it will be another alien race here in a second. I'll give it another run with another alien race. Yeah, sure. Gaia transformation. I'm not going to have time for, for any of that. Oh, he left one of my... He left this planet intact? He just took... He destroyed the other planet. Okay. There are hundreds of new citizens in the Balrathi Empire. As a sudden population, Bruno's double the population growth rate of Versa 2 colony. Okay. Okay, there's another population boom on the same planet. Um... 
He wants stock exchange. Let's... Tachyon communications. Oh. I can't do anything. I can't afford to build ships. I want to try to... That's what I was trying to do is build ships so I can go over and take my guys back, but... I don't think I can. Like the moon and the sun are partners in the sky, so shall we be human and dark lord until united in an alliance. I'm um, sure. But I'm not gonna attack that other guy. And... <laughs> and why would he think I have ships to attack the other guy? Um... Yeah, fuck yeah. Build another ship. Why not? I can't send my guys there? It's bullshit. Are those ships not strong enough? Maybe I don't have the fuel or something. Trade agreement? Sure. Trade everything you want to trade. Making zero this whole time. I don't think I'm gonna make it very far. <sighs> no, I'm not gonna declare war on anyone. Why would I declare war? With my ships that can't even go to the same fucking planet that my mother planet or whatever. The Darlock Empire has fallen and will no longer hold power in the galaxy. Wow. Well, they shouldn't have waged war on those guys that I told them not to wage war on. Uh, no, I don't have money. He's like, hey, can I take all your money? An unstoppable wormhole appeared suddenly in the path of one ship belonging to the Malkar Empire. Travelers were propelled to Lear in a single turn before the wormhole disarmed. Huh. Oh cool, I got a colony ship. Well... Let's work on this other stuff. Finally got my planet back. Lord Sidious promised us peace. 
The Blorathi Empire will live only on in history books as the last vestige of Blorathi power. Oh damn, both of those guys got taken out? Well, I guess I'm doing better than them by trying to be peaceful, I guess. Creates an environment suited to both planet and animal growth by introducing genetically engineered microorganisms into the world. Can only be employed to... Yeah, sure. Everyone's at war with each other except for me. Ooh, yeah. Now the planet's all nice. Um. Mm, colony ship. Golden flags, please no more. No colonies of fleets remain. Jesus, they're all like taking each other out, man. Governor Brainiac. Look at that guy. Look at all those cool eyeballs. I, th I think that's one of the things I like most about this song. It's just the artwork and stuff. Learn to be content with what you have. You'll get nothing from us. That's fine. I don't plan on getting anything from anyone else. I'm just living my peaceful life in the galaxy while everyone else destroys each other. Wait, was there another colony ship? Ultra rich. Alright. That planet's ultra rich. I like how I build ships to scrap them. 
for my empire. Alright. That's totally what's going on. Yeah, let's do trade goods here. We'll get some. I thought that would be a plus, but I guess not. I don't think anyone's going to attack me um, on this level, which I guess is good to learn other stuff. I guess I'm learning how all the research and all that stuff works. Um, now. Oh, 17 star systems. Okay. Yay, I'm number four. I'm not in last place. Alright. No, this game gets this game gets pretty serious. I'm just not like great at this game. I remember last time I had played it, I think I had played it for like a couple weeks and I finally started understanding. The thing is you have to learn you have to play like this because you have to learn how the systems work. And then once you understand all the systems of how the economy and everything works then you can start focusing on, on uh, building your military with certain types of ships and stuff. Oh shit, Tanoko with the host, thank you so much my man. How you doing? Um. Yeah, it's it's pretty fun. Um, it's it's really chill game. Yo, do not provoke the Melkar Empire, Vegeta. We will attack it. Back if you remain too close to our territory, it was rightfully ours. I'm pretty far away. I got stuck on the final boss in Turbo CD Forgotten Worlds. Hey, Tammy. Yeah, I get I get blue Yoshi's. I love Blue Yoshis. I'm sorry, man. You'll get farther. I know you will. Um, everything takes so many turns. No, I can't afford you in your minus 75 environment. If you hire me, I'll burn all your trees down. It's a good time to meet. 
Um, let's make a deal. Give us proton torpedoes and we'll give you some mail car technology. Okay. What do they have for proton torpedoes? They have a lot of stuff, actually. Mass driver. That'd be nice. Death spores. That's nice. Um... I think I'm gonna go with the mass driver. I was kind of hoping that they had a, a, a better, uh, they had warp drive. But yeah, let's go with mass driver. Oh, you know what? That's that's a weapon. Well, oh, never mind. Yeah, biospheres. Fuck it. Give me your biospheres. It'll help terraforming. How's everyone's night going? Well, my economy's coming back. Until they attack me and destroy my worlds. They need anti-drive matter? Okay. death spores I want to be able to use death spores that sounds something like it something a peaceful planet would need hmm Learn some other stuff. Um, so you can get research points to win. Class three shield. That'll help me when they attack me again. They come to destroy all my ships. Now this game's like really tranquil. Uh, let's see. Advanced damage control. Assault shuttles. guidance system. Ten, 10 BC a turn. I just don't, I just don't have that kind of money. And also, I don't even have the planets to put you guys on. Solo Han doesn't have a leader, though, so let's see. We can give, um, yeah, we're gonna give Governor Gilas Great human and Melkar come together for yet another important moment in history. Um, oh, he, they want transporters, huh? Uh, give me... Automated factories. Cybertronic computer. That's what I'm talking about.
yeah, I really need to. Once I once I start getting back in the groove and I figure out like how to start building ships again, I'll start doing that. Android farmers. Yeah, Android workers. I bring to you the wisdom of the glorious Emperor Cog Primus. He needs the class 3 shield, huh? Um, hey, give me those fuel cells. Okay, so... Just gonna build all of everything. You know, Gaia transformations last because it takes 72 turns. I'm like Alderan, man. Ships in the Silicoid Empire have recently visited the legendary Orion star system. Okay, so that's another way to win in this. So, let me zoom out here. So, uh, where are they? Um, where's the Orion star system? So, and that kind of reminded me of No Man's Sky when they were like, there's a center of the universe secret that everyone could find. So, uh if you find Orion, it's guarded by like this super advanced ship and um, if you can destroy it you get like, you basically win the game. Like you're basically gonna get all kinds of stuff. The High Council has convened to elect one leader to be the Emperor of the Galaxy. Emperor Sandabar of the Silicoids and Emperor Hissa of the Serax have been nominated. 12 votes for Hissa, Emperor of Serac. 31 votes for Sandbar, Emperor of Silicoid. 17 votes for Hissa, Emperor of Sargak. Um, who will I vote for? Um, I'm going to vote for the winner. Because my people are peaceful and I don't want to die. Neither leader has two-thirds majority. Haha! Haha, -ha, I split the vote. I split the vote. That's funny. More time to research technology. Mighty Emperor Sandbar requires your vote to the next meeting council. Place your vote incorrectly and your empire will be taken away. <laughs> Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? Galactic Cybernet. I have the internet and the power. The Silicon Empire Empire will not crush you if you place your vote for us. I already voted for you last time. Why are you threatening me? And so much. It sucks that when the armies get huge, the winner becomes whoever won the coin toss at the beginning of the combat. Yeah. The rest of the game is pretty fun, though. The combat, I agree. I mean, that's probably the not the highlight of this game, but that's awesome that you played this game, though. I love this game. I bring to you the wisdom of the glorious Emperor Cog Primus. Uh, give us Kyoko Star System. No. All right then, to war. What? You guys are bastards. So now they're gonna go to war with me because I didn't give them a star system. Well, let's see if I have enough time to build ships. I don't think I do.
I think I'm screwed. I'm screwed either way. Melkar fleet attacks Human at Colony of Solohan. No, Solohan. 12 million people killed. They destroyed everything. Yeah, no, I'm like relearning how to play this game after like 10 years, so. Um. Oh, yeah, this star system had ships, buddy. What's up now? I don't think I'm doing that much damage. <laughs> this guy's just getting bombarded. Attack their ass. Yeah. Uh, I'm so sorry. This mouse scrolling is just, just terrible. Can I control the mouse sh scrolling? Uh, oh no. But I can self-destruct. They're so much stronger than me. I think I'm screwed. Can I turn my ship around? There you go. Well, they killed 14 million, million people because I refused to give them the planet. Well, I'm not voting for you now. You guys didn't help me. I'm abstaining because you guys didn't help me do shit. You guys were like, oh, we'll just let some random guy come in and attack your colony. Well, guess what? You're not getting any fucking votes. No votes for me.
Oh, it's a ground battle. I haven't seen a ground battle in this game. That's crazy. That's not gonna help. Nothing's gonna help. You're all dead. We're all dead. No, I'm not gonna hire you. Why would I hire you? Oh man. Your power is gone. Fleet destroyed. Armies scattered. Cities crushed. People enslaved. Your insolence has cost you your empire. <laughs> Get this cool little cutscene. Eight hundred and seventy one turns. Total score one twenty five. Okay. That's not great. So let's let's kick it up a notch. And I will be the Darlocks. And my ruler's name will be. Uh, nice. And I'm gonna be silver this time. The home planets will be. It's mm, a good name for a home planet. Planet Rising. Alright. So we need... Let's do Biospheres instead. We're going to switch it up this time. We'll switch it up. Um, Star Streak. Um... Hundred and oh man, no. We're just gonna do trade goods for now until I get a building thing, get some money going. Let's just go, go explore the galaxy. Sure. Crap. That star system doesn't have anything. Okay. Okay, biospheres. Oh, death spores isn't that high out. It sounds so cool though. Valuable remnants of a shipwreckage are found orbiting one of the planets and has already been quickly converted to 50 BC. Okay. Oh, it's radiated. I don't think my guys... Can my guys... I don't think my guys can support radiation.
Okay. Oh, starvation. Oh, they can't farm here. Enables the colony to control the colonization. Commander Sparky offers to join you for 100 BC now and 1 BC a turn, bringing the knowledge of the following advanced damage control. Uh, sure. Augmented engines. To wait for the ships to be built. Won't be too long. Though. Today marked major scientific breakthrough for the Nolan Empire when archaeologists uncovered the secret of fusion beam and the wreckage of an ancient mysterious ship. Janin was also first on the scene to bring you this important headline. Oh, I'm number five. I'm not last. Although I don't know how quickly I'm going to uh, like how quickly this is going to go. Okay, well the freighter helped bring, okay that's good. I'm able to bring them food. That's what I was, that's what I was thinking. I need to build more freighters, so. though. Starbase, Marine Barracks. Oh. Mm, 3.30 now, four a turn. She's pretty good, I just don't have the money right now. Uh -huh. Telepathic training. Wait, can I do soil enrichment on that planet now? Four turns. Due to overworking Sakara miners, the mineral classification of Tau Colony was lowered to rich. Ooh. Mm, it's 
three a turn. I still I don't have any ships. I think I hired too many of those guys last time. Commander Garrick offers to join you for four a turn. No. Ooh. There's always tension between two empires when two empires first meet in Burfett. Let us do our best to ally those fears and work towards an age of peace and prosperity. Sure. So I, I have to take those planets no matter what, because there's nothing I can do. Uh, what's a good name for this planet? Sandy. Sandy Prime. Build time. 10,000 days. Okay, well, we'll wait then. So, you are what passes for an emperor in the Darla Kingdom. You are truly much more pathetic than I ever imagined. Sure. Um, trade goods. Because I'm going to have to build more freighters. Scientists in the Seric Empire were shocked to discover a virus and the Gravitic Fields Research Center computers. All systems were infected, totaling a loss of 97 research points. Uh, sucks to them. Director Cassandra offers to join you for 240 now and 3 a turn, bringing you the, the following telepathic training. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll let her join. Let's see. To a turn. Sure, I like the way that guy looks. I'm just going with the guys that, I, the guys that I think look cool now. That don't have like terrible stats. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think this game's like four dollars in GOG. It's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Shield capacitors. I kind of want to play the, they did like a redone version, but I like the way these old graphics look. A state of emergency was declared when the long range scanners began tricking a huge toxic amoebic life form traveling at warp speed toward the galaxy. <laughs> well, that's not good. It's a good time to meet in Perfect, for Emperor Aquilus is in good spirits today. Trade between us? Yeah, sure, we could trade. You look awesome. Oh, they're just thanking me.
star base. Space Academy. Sure. And then freighter. Man, these guys are always at war with each other. Books as the last vestige, vestige of mission has been annihilated. A time space anomaly has occurred in the Lupus star system. All colonies in that system are unable to build, and ships are unable to make contact for either trade or combat purposes. Seric Empire has grown in strength, it now controls 12 star systems. I don't know how they go so fast. Again though, that's one of the beauties of like slowly figuring out all the stuff about the game. The Akari Empire has fallen and no longer will power, okay. So two empires got taken out. Okay. Six a turn. He does give me quite a nine percent telepath. It's just, it's so much. I just don't have that much money. The time-space anomaly that held the lupus system frozen in time has ended. I come before you with the spirit of friendship. Your empire is pathetic. I suggest you offer Grand Emperor a gift to continue to bring. Uh, no. I'm not gonna give you a star system. I was gonna say there's like no guys there. Yeah, come at me, bro. Oh, he's coming at me a lot quicker than he was. attack them. Well, they lasted a long time.
man. This guy took me out quick. Now everyone's starving. <clears throat> These guys are jerks. There's no one there to oppose them. Like, it says that I have five and five, but I don't see anyone. They're too busy starving to death. Seven million people were killed. Yeah, okay. Well, we didn't get as far that time. But we're finding out how to play the game. Let's do a little less people. Home planet of Yeel. One of the planets in the system contains extensive gold deposits and will generate plus 5 BC per turn once the colony has been established there. Will it give me that plus 5 BC a turn? Best. Alright, I'm gonna let my eyes adjust for a second. So. A good name for this planet. Planet Nintendo. Okay, Nintendo 2 is just colonized. Oh, so their research is different than everyone else's. That's interesting. Well, 
Yeah, zero a turn, sure. You'll be the leader of Planet Nintendo. Ants hire everybody. That's how they roll. Hundreds of new citizens in the Darlic Empire. I never get those population boosts. It's always the aliens. Uh, what time is it? <clears throat> Alright guys. I think that's a good stopping point for the night. Let me see if anybody else is on. Uh, I'll try to raid somebody. Okay. Give me a second. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, cool. You guys are still seeing the game. Let's save it up. Oh, it's like all messed up. Okay. Hold on. I have to put my display back. I basically made my display 800 by 600 so that the game, <laughs> the game would be full screen on my my huge ass computer monitor. Okay. Yeah, let me see who's streaming. I'll try to I'll try to read somebody. Hey, not a problem, Ten. There will be more in the future. Love you guys. Oh, you went on break? 